One of the best parts about catching the dolphin is eating them. So uh, that, that entails filleting them, and uh, I'll show you a couple techniques that, that I use to um, to cut up these dolphin to get the best uh, boneless fillets for, for our family to eat. Um, start by the first cut, just right down, kind of an angle there towards the uh, the head, and then uh, then then come down the back here. Always want to start with a nice sharp knife. Just make a little little cut right down the backbone, right there, and then I just start working my way down the back, just feeling it, feel the bones right above them until you get to that backbone. Then you can see where I'm kind of coming up right over that backbone there. If I keep cutting, I'm going to lose a lot of meat. So what I'll do then is uh, finish pulling this off, cut it down, get that first flap up, and now I'm over the backbone, and now I'm going to cut down a little bit. Again, just feeling the, the bones going right over top of them. And, uh, and then cut through the rib cage here. Get down there. Again, just kind of slowly down there. And you can see I went right up to that backbone, then I cut up like that, and then I went down over it. And that, that way we're just scraping bone the whole way. Get a nice yield. On a fish this size, you don't want to waste too much meat. Um, beautiful little fillets there. And then once, uh, once we get it off, what I like to do, the, what's the best quality meat is when we actually fillet it off. Um, sometimes we can rip the skin off. I'll show you a way to do that. But, um, but filleting the skin, just pin it down with your fingers here. Get it right to the edge of the table so that you're um, able to work clearly. And it's all about the angle of the knife. Starting there, if I go too deep, I cut through the skin. If I go too, too high, I, go, um, I cut through the meat. So I want to scrape right above the skin. Just all about flexing the angle here. I put my finger right on the blade and I can cut right down there. Just feeling along that skin. A little higher, a little lower. Just kind of get the feel for it. And that should be just scraping right above the skin there. And there you go. See, it didn't lose too much meat. Nice and thin. Good to go. And now, once I've got this fillet here, a couple things I'll do. First, I'm going to take this little rib cage out which is just a little angle cut like that. Get those ribs out, there's some bones and meat in there. Throw that out. And then I'm gonna turn it over. And you can see that bloodline that's in there. Um, there's some, a little bit of bone down that backbone and then there's a bloodline which uh, that meat isn't quite as good eating. So I'll cut down one side like this, right down that bloodline, and then right down the other side. And there we go. Now we've got perfect boneless, Excellent little fillets, cut them up in size like that, and uh, we're ready for the fryer.